て、横を斜めクリア。あったまっかいかー。コラムスメガドライブで。セーガー。Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, a y and today we are hopping into the ancient Greek world of Columns. Yes, we are playing that ancient of games, the game that has, was played in ancient Greco Roman times. Of course, this game did not exist back then. I'm just being kind of silly. This is, of course, Sega's answer to Tetris, pretty much. Back when Tetris first came out, Everyone was scrambling to essentially copy it or at least capitalize on the fascination with falling blocks. And as you can see here, Sega's take on the whole matter involved matching colored gems. So I guess you would call this a match three falling block puzzle. Which is basically Sega's answer to Tetris. And I'm, I'm interested in trying this game out. I've never played it before. So starting medium or hard calls the magic jewel. What the heck? Chain reactions pump up the juice. Get your juices flowing with,、uh, oh my god, look at that. Holy crap. How could you plan that? I mean, I, 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 I can't plan chain reactions like that. I got really good at Dr. Mario one summer when I was playing against a friend of mine all the time. Well, I guess you actually win the jewels in this game. Interesting. They've tried to give some backstory to the puzzle pieces. They're jewels that you can win. But I got really good at、uh, Dr. Mario one summer playing with a friend. And eventually I could kind of plan some chain reactions, but like serious chain reactions? No. Okay, we have some angels playing、uh, columns now. So I guess this is a, a very ancient game. As I say, going back to Greco Roman times. Arcade, menu, or options. Am I not on the menu? What is this? Menu. I don't understand. There's like a guy taming a lion behind us. <laughs> what, what is happening? Okay, let's just go one player. So, menu takes you to like the game mode. W what was arcade then? Time trial? No. BGM. I could be Clotho, Lathesis, oh my god, or Atropos. Now、let's go with Clotho because it's the default. Best score is zero. I think we can do better than that, guys. So here we go into the wonderful world of columns. I have no idea what the buttons are, but I'm going to suspect that one button makes them rotate up and the other down. Okay, so there's my down button. That's also a down button. And that's also a down button. So I don't think you can rotate these pieces upward. Interesting. Okay, let's, let's actually try and use some strats here, some high level strategies. Um, no, let's, let's not go for the obvious play here. We're gonna try and do some kind of crazy combo play here. We'll see if this pans out for us. I, I feel like I'm playing this level all wrong instantly, but we'll see how this goes. Okay, so I, I did something there.、Uh, we're gonna try and do this. And. Okay, I feel like they're giving me pieces, and I should be able to use them better than I am using them. But I, I'm just gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? Here's my strategy in a game like this. I'm gonna build up a bunch of crap, and hopefully, then when I get like something, some kind of weird combo unlocks. So, my strategy is to just build stuff up and pray for a weird combo. So, we're gonna set up lots of like twos and stuff. Or maybe we should do this. I, I don't even know. I don't even know how to set up combos in this. I can't even like think in that dimension. Okay, I guess we'll just do this and this. And I, I'm. Okay. So, not too much higher order columns here, just sort of the run of the mill standard strats. Let's talk about Tetris for a little bit while I kind of meander my way through this game here. So, as I said, when Tetris first came out, everyone was trying to copy it. It was like the game to be. You know how, like, they say that imitation is the greatest form of flattery? Well, in the gaming industry, there's a related saying, which is basically that if people are copying you, you did something right.、Uh, it basically means that in the, in the world of gaming, when there is a smash hit, literally everyone copies. Like, first person shooters weren't called first person shooters when they first came out. They were called Doom clones because literally people were just trying to copy Doom and do what Doom did. And. That's basically what happened when Tetris became a thing. Is everyone just wanted to. Oh, here we go. Oh, pfft. 
Okay, I thought I was going to have a combo there, but the uh, blue thing got in the way. It's okay. We'll figure out a way to get rid of that blue one. It'll be a glorious combo. You'll all see. It'll be great. Oh, there we go. Look, we're building it up. Building it up one thing at a time. Oh, here's a combo for you. Boom! Stick that in your pipe and, and do whatever you do with pipes these days. <laughs> Smoke it, I guess. Uh, boom! Here's another combo for you. So, I guess when Tetris came out... Whoa! There you go. Didn't plan that, but that worked out well. See? You just gotta play stuff and, like, play it all loose and fast, and eventually you'll start hitting up combos. So I guess Sega looked at Nintendo, and they were like, Damn, that Tetris thing is really smashing the boards. Like, people love this game. And Tetris was... Or, sorry, Sega was not the only company to be thinking this. A lot of companies were kind of looking at Tetris and being like, Let's just do that. So... Around this time, you got all sorts of uh, Tetris clones that came out, and they were all these kind of like puzzle falling type games where you had to like match up things. You know, I, I mean, even Dr. Mario, when you think about it, it's kind of just a Tetris clone. <laughs> like even Dr. Mario, which which is a game that now has really it's it's identified itself and and sort of hashed out its own personality and all that. But at its core, it is really just copying the idea of Tetris, just sort of in Nintendo's own way. Now, with that in mind, we can ask ourselves, like, how good of a game is this compared to Tetris? Like, let's just think about this for a sec. Is this a good game compared to Tetris? And I don't know. I, I, I was thinking about this before I, I popped the game in today. Because I was thinking, you know, what what makes Tetris so special? Like, why, why does everyone sort of love Tetris. And Tetris certainly is a, a, a great puzzle game. But, you know, would it be considered as great if, like, l like, let's say that this game had come out first and it had caught everyone's attention and everyone was nuts over this game? Oh, I should have put it to the right. Um, would, would everything now be called a Columns clone? And would people be scrambling to copy Columns? Like, was the market just ready for some kind of like falling block game or was there really something sort of very unique about Tetris and it had to be Tetris and nothing else. I, I kind of think that maybe in another parallel universe there could be like a universe where like everything is Columns clones and Columns was the game that came out and blew everyone away. Um, it's kind of fun to think of parallel universes like that where there's like very very minor differences between our world and theirs like Kind of, we're getting into like sci-fi territory here, but like, imagine you went into some kind of dimensional <laughs> crap. I'm starting to mess up here as I like delve into like crazy sci-fi ideas. But imagine you ended up in some kind of portal and you didn't know what universe you were in, and you had to try to figure it out. And it looked remarkably similar to ours, but then like one day you realized there was like some little minute piece of history out of place, like, you know. Everyone copied Columns, not Tetris. And Tetris was a clone of Columns, not the other way around. That would kind of be a little mind-blowing in that, you know, out there, there was a world that was so similar to ours. And in all functional, meaningful ways, it was identical to ours, except for one tiny, insignificant little quirk of history. I don't know. It's kind of an interesting idea. But we're getting way off topic in terms of this game. Um, now, what is happening in the world of Columns here? We had, in the title screen, we had, like, angels playing this game. We had, like, Greeks who were, like, taming lions playing this game. I think they're trying to build up the idea that this game has some sort of, you know, grand historical meaning and some, like, huge history behind it. But it's kind of just, like, a block matching game, if you ask me. And I'm not thinking too hard about where I'm placing these. I probably could be playing a little bit better. But, you know, if you want my inane shatter while we or while I play, guys, uh, this is about as good as a gameplay as you're going to get. But, you know, even for that, like, I'm not paying super close attention to what I'm doing, and I'm doing okay. Like, I as I say, I probably could be doing better. But I kind of don't mind that it's not that difficult of a game. It gives me a chance to sort of think, although it's getting more challenging, obviously, as these things are dropping really fast. Have you guys ever seen videos of, like, Tetris champions playing at like super super high speeds if you haven't you should definitely look that up I don't I imagine maybe there's an equivalent for like columns masters like I've never heard of such a thing because I don't think this game was big enough but who knows maybe there's like a world champion columns player out there 
and he or she plays the game so fast that it's just like insane to watch. But if you haven't seen the Tetris thing, you should totally look that up after you're done watching this video. The, there are videos of like world champion Tetris players and they just play the game so fast that like you can't even see the blocks that are falling on the screen. It's insane. And it's, I, would, I don't want to say inspiring, but it's like definitely like uh, a feat that like you watch and you're like, holy crap. Like now this guy can play Tetris. Even if you thought you were good at Tetris, you know, you're nothing compared to these pros. These, these amazing dudes. Uh, speaking of which, I, I spent one summer. So Tetris is, is always kind of like a throwaway game. I think a lot of people know how to play Tetris. But few people consider themselves like really good at Tetris. It's just sort of like one of those games that everyone kind of knows, but nobody really takes too seriously. But one summer, I remember I was actually trying to learn how to play Tetris really well. I don't know why. I think I just wanted to like beat some of my friends for like bragging rights or something. But uh, I, I, I would like play Tetris for like hours and hours every day, just seeing if I could get good at it. And I got way better at it than I ever had been before. And I could play on like level nine and stuff. And then when friends started to like come over to hang out, I would always kind of be like, "Yeah, hey, anybody want to like uh, play some uh, play some Tetris?" And uh, obviously, it was just I kind of wanted to show off, right? Because like, what do you do when you get good at video games? You challenge your friends and kick their butt, and like that's how you show off. Video games, a lot of it is showboating. Like you develop your video game skill just so that you can be good at it, just so you can humiliate your friends. That's what you do in gaming. Um, but. Anyway, yeah, if somebody, if you go over to someone's house and they casually suggest a competitive game of Tetris to you, um, that's a trap. They're just trying to trap you. They've gotten good at Tetris and they want to see how much butt they can kick. So that's what's going on there. Uh, so, you know, just, just a little bit of advice from old Gaming J. Never get suckered into a Tetris trap. <laughs> oh, geez. I misplaced that. Okay, now they're coming in so fast that... Uh, I'm having some trouble talking and playing at the same time. I might be in some trouble here. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, we're definitely going to lose. Just a mat It's not a matter of if, but when at this stage. Oh, but we will take that on our way out. That's like a consolation prize. Uh, that... Does that do anything? Yes. <laughs> I'm just relying, I'm totally relying on luck to get these combos. It's actually not too hard to get combos in this game, it turns out. Like, as long as you're kind of dropping stuff randomly, eventually you'll start getting combos. Like, look, I'm just setting stuff up there. I didn't even plan it necessarily. Boom, there you go. Boom. So once you drop uh, uh, your little uh, your little column of, of shapes here, you have a second where you can kind of like rotate through and if it makes a match it will stop so here's one strategy for you when it starts going really fast as soon as a piece falls just start rotating it until maybe something matches that's what i'm doing right now and it seems to be working out oh but it's not working out that well uh okay no 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 oh crap okay like that that okay this is gonna make a match i saw that one that one that I'm like barely holding on here. Holy shit, I'm on level 10. Didn't even realize it. I guess I'm better at columns than I thought I was. So those, those practice Tetris skills coming into play, guys. I told you. Practice the crap out of that game one summer. And again, I don't even know why. It's not It's not like I had some master plan for what I was going to do with my Tetris skills once I had them. I was just like, yeah, let's just see if I can get good at Tetris. Do you ever have that? Is there ever like an old game that you decide randomly one day that you don't, you not only want to play, but you want to get good at? Because that's what happened to me with Tetris. I think maybe that happens with games that I remember playing as a kid. And I, I always think to myself, boy, if I played that now, I would be so much better at the game. Like when you're a kid, games, certain types of games can seem really hard. But like as an, as an adult, you kind of get better at games and stuff. So, I don't know, sometimes I have these urges to go back and play games that, as a kid, I thought were really challenging, but I know I could do better as an adult, and so maybe that's where that sort of Tetris thing came from. Boy, man, I'm like clearing the board here! It may look like I don't know what I'm doing, but I was really just setting up, like, the master combo. It's like when you watch, like, a Tetris pro, and he's, like, leaving all these gaps and stuff, you're like, man, this guy sucks. And then before you know it, boom, he's got, like, mega combos, and you're like, holy crap! 
<laughs> I don't know if anyone in the history of Tetris has been like so enthralled by a Tetris match that they've been watching. That they've been like blown away where they've like shouted out expletives in the middle of it. I would like to think so. I'd like to think that there's some really hardcore like Tetris fans out there. And if they saw like an amazing match, they'd be like, oh my god, he got the triple. He's getting the double with the SPs. He's playing the SPs. <laughs> Uh, in reality, no one cares that much about Tetris. Although, you know, people get pretty excited about video games. Esports is an interesting phenomenon. Like, because people are, like, really interested in things like League of Legends and stuff. I wonder if, like, eventually, when esports is sort of more formally recognized as, like, not necessarily a sport, but, like, just something competitive, if, like, there'll be, like, retro esports, if that will become a thing where it's, like, people want to go see people play de te Tetris and old school Mario and stuff. Because, like, right now, you know, esports getting on, like, if League of Legends gets on TV, that's a big deal for esports. But, like, nobody's putting, like, a Super Mario speedrun on TV. But you gotta think, like, kids growing up these days who watch, like, games done quick in their spare time or, like, let's play videos like this, like, if you're watching this and you're on the younger side, then you're the future of, like, taste making, right? So, like, if you like this, maybe eventually this will be on TV. If TV even exists in the future, who knows? But imagine, like, channel surfing and, like, just seeing somebody, like, let's playing a video on, on TV. That would be, like, so random today, but could happen someday. Um, not that I, not that I think it would ever happen to me. I, I, <laughs> I don't think, uh, I don't think anything I'm producing here would ever end up on television, but, like, I guess it would be the ultimate, you know, craziness if it ever did, but I don't have high hopes for that. Um, I'm just happy to be on YouTube entertaining you fine folks. It's what I look forward to when I'm thinking about the games that I'm going to play. And... Yeah, we're man, we're we're flying through this level 15. I'm I'm shocked that I'm surviving this long. Oh, as I say it, I start messing up like hardcore, like hard hardcore. Like we're probably done now. Are we? Are we done? It's always impressive like in Tetris when you like play up to the very top of the screen and you like make an insane comeback. So, if I could do that here, I would be pretty impressed with myself. I don't know if it's gonna happen though. We'll see though. Shoot. It's happening too fast. Yes, clear the things. It gets easier to make combos when you are near the top of the screen though because like there's so many possibilities of things below you. Like I'm just getting combos here by chance. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Again, if you think there's some high-level strategy to my play, you don't know me very well. So I don't think anyone has ever attempted to put a backstory to, like, Tetris or anything like that. Maybe we should give it a try these days. Or, or today, I mean. You know? Like, they, I, I, I think even Dr. Mario sometimes has some kind of backstory, but with, like, Tetris and games like Bejeweled and stuff, people are like, nah, like, they don't even bother. Although we did play that game Puzzle Quest a while back, and that was basically bejeweled with a backstory. So like, okay, if we were going to turn this into a game with a backstory, what would the backstory be? It would be like... This could be like a game of marbles in like a school playground, right? Like some kids, they're like... Maybe they're like demigods or something, because we had the sort of Greek influences of this game that we saw on the title screen. But it could be like some kids who are like playing for these these gemstones that like control the world like they're world stones or something and oh i bet you thought i was dead there until i made that sweet comeback <laughs> See, it's all about rotating these things after they've fallen man that's how you survive that's how you survive in the land of columns you gotta learn your post fall rotation man like i can't even see the piece before it hits the ground anymore yeah Okay, that's not what I want to do, but I'll take it. I'll take that. I'll take that. No. Oh, crap. Okay, now, now we're in trouble. Oh, my God. I'll take that, though. And that. Um, okay, so we got some, like, demigod children who are playing for these gems. And the gems represent, like, the power of souls or something like that. And so you're trying to win them all so that you can restore, like, hope to the universe. Oh, that was a misplay. 
I'm in a lot of trouble. Or am I? Oh, jeez. <laughs> I keep thinking that it's over, and then I keep pulling it out somehow. I don't know where it's coming from, guys. I'm digging deep here. I'm digging deep in columns. Literally digging in columns. Oh, my God. How long, how long can we go? Let's take some bets. I bet I can make it to, like... I'm on level... Holy... Holy crap, I'm on level 20? I seriously have never played this game before in my life. I guess we... Okay, after after slogging through all the games that it turns out I'm not very good at, we found one that I am good at. It's called dropping blocks and having them evaporate. Turns out I have a just a natural knack for that kind of thing. Who knew? Of all the, like, game types. I'm, like, flying through it. Look at this. You can't stop the Invincible J, man. Look at it. You ain't got nothing left. And just when you think I've floundered, I've just gone ahead and set up a, ma a monster combo. Boom, monster combo. Boom, another, well, that one didn't do anything. Neither did that one. The monster combo, boom, there's the monster combo. It was a setup the whole time. You thought I messed up, but I don't mess up. I don't make the messes, I just clean them up. It's like a terrible catchphrase. I want it to sound like kind of badass. It just sounded kind of like boring. Boom. All right. Man, it's... I, I'm like reaching the point where I'm like running out of stuff to talk about here and I can't even like take a mental break and think of something to say because like I'm so fixated on these. Okay, so I'm on level 22. Who thinks I'm going to make it to level 30? You take that bet right now if you're going to take it. You write it down. You, you commit yourself. If you think I'm going to hit level 30. And we need some stakes here. Um, if I hit level 30 and uh, and you didn't think I was going to, then you have to, I don't know, uh, you have to write me uh, a, a, a funny joke, a knock-knock joke. That's what I want. Down in the comments below, I want to hear your favorite... Your favorite video game themed, you know what, doesn't have to be a knock-knock joke. Your favorite video game themed joke, if if I get to level 30 and you didn't think so. You didn't think I would. But, okay, I'm on 24. I want to hear these jokes, guys, so I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going into overdrive here. I'm going to concentrate really hard. I'm going to make it happen. I believe I can will it to be a thing. You might want to rethink betting against me. Just saying. Boom. I don't know how. I don't. I feel like there's no no point in me like playing another round if I die here. Cause, I mean, what am I gonna get to like level 50 next time? You're just gonna be here for like a two-hour video of columns. I don't even know. I like, can't even see the pieces as they fall anymore. Uh oh. Okay, we need no. Shoot. No, 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 we want to hear the jokes! No, 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 we have to hear the jokes! Uh-oh. No! Come on, combo! Random combo! No! I made it to level 25, guys. Alright, well, since I made it to level 25, why don't you just leave me, like, a video game-themed limerick or something like that? I'll appreciate that, too. Let's go ahead and enter our name to the high scoreboard here. J. There we go. Jade. <laughs> Yo, your level just got Jade, son. It's like being played, but only like hardcore by gaming J. You got Jade. <laughs> Game over. The so score was $246,000. I wish I had that much money, actually. That'd be sweet. Okay, so... So menu does not take you to the menu. Take that's a that's totally a troll menu item. It's like click here for more off. Psych, you're playing the game now. You're you're totally playing the game now. <laughs> gotcha. It's like yeah, right. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Control scheme one. Pad down is drop. Button A is rotate. Button B is rotate. Button C is rotate. Control scheme 2. Pad down is drop. Button A is rotate. Button B is rotate. And button C is rotate. Like, <laughs> oh, or you can switch it to pad down does nothing. And A drops. And B is rotate. And button C is rotate. Like, 
Seriously, that's all they could come up with? They really need an option. So when you click the rotate, it just like cycles all the blocks down one. They need one where you can cycle up one. Like in Tetris, you can rotate left and right. Why can't you cycle things up and down here? Kind of kind of like a weird oversight for this game. Like why didn't they include that? I don't know. There's like gems frothing out of this, this barrel these two guys are fighting over. So clearly there's some kind of competition going on for these gems. In every title screen, it's either Greeks or angels or someone taming a lion who's fighting over these gems. So they are some kind of like gemstones that matter for the universe that some kind of ancient demigods are like warring over. And they get them by making them disappear on a game board. It's like marbles. When you play marbles, you throw marbles out into the field. And if you win, you get to keep them. So in columns, maybe it's like you're throwing your own gems out into the field. And when you make them disappear, you get to keep them. So I don't know how many gems I just stole there in that last round uh, where I got like 200,000 plus points, but I got a lot. Okay, let's let's just see what the arcade mode is out of curiosity. Okay, so we have to get to... Oh, I don't even know. Wait, we have different colored gems now? Wait, did we have purple before? Or green? I'm so confused. Did they like reserve certain colors for like the arcade mode versus like the home console mode? Imagine that was like a selling point. They're like, play columns on the Sega Genesis now with purple and green. New colors. It's like, what are they, Lucky Charms? They're just colors that they don't do anything different. Oh, but we still have red. Maybe, maybe by having more colors, it's supposed to be more difficult because it's harder to make combos. I have no idea. Okay, well, whatevs. Okay, so really there's no point in trying to do too much at the beginning here. You kind of want like a random field and then because you want things to be able to like match up sort of mishmashy. That's how you get those combos I was getting before. Although I feel like maybe I made it too mishmashy. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Okay, so that worked. And what is that? I'm gonna do that no we'll do oh no wait that's not gonna work i was like oh we got a combo but we don't so yeah i don't know you know i i should start wrapping this game up because it's not a very complicated game we've seen quite a bit of it and i don't want to overstay my welcome here so let, let's you know think about what we've learned here today guys i think what we've learned is that when it comes to falling block puzzles tetris may have been the first but it certainly wasn't the last. And it's kind of interesting, like, in a way, I, I do kind of believe that there's nothing, like, absolutely uh, unique about Tetris. Um, and I do kind of wonder. I, I always kind of wonder. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong here. But I do kind of wonder if Tetris was just sort of in the right place at the right time. Ooh, that was interesting. We got, like, a bomb that wiped out all the green uh, on the screen. And the fact that everyone copied Tetris, they were just copying something that sort of the conditions were right for it to be successful. So I guess we'll never know the answer to this, but I wonder if off in some alternate history somewhere, if like columns had come first, if, if you know, Tetris would have been seen as just another columns clone. So I don't know. It, it may not be true. It may not be true. I mean, Tetris, don't get me wrong, Tetris is a great game. So I mean, I'm not trying to, you know, besmirch Tetris or anything like that. But, uh, but anyway, who knows? So, you know, I think we've learned that when it comes to dropping blocks and having them disappear, it turns out that old J here is uh, better than he looks. Um, if you make uh, a Tetris clone you try to get me to play it, you're going to get Jade, son, which basically is slang for getting played. Uh, and uh, I'm sticking to it. Uh, <laughs> I think we've also learned that the reason that... Uh, the, the reason that, that people fight over these, like, falling gems in the sky will always remain a mystery. I don't think there's ever been a coherent backstory to a game like Tetris or anything like this. It's just sort of a mystery as to what's going on in these games, but that's okay. Because not every game needs to have a coherent story that weaves it all together into an interesting narrative. This will just be one of those games that we just sort of shrug and say, I don't know, blocks fall, you make them disappear. What else do you need to know? Meh. Um, now, pros and cons of this game... It is a very easy game to pick up. Anyone who's ever played games like Tetris or Dr. Mario will instantly know how to play this game. Oh man, I'm not going to do nearly as well as I did last time. I think I'm probably like done here. Um, anyone who's ever played Tetris... 
Dr. Mario or uh, Tetris will instantly know how to play this game. It is, uh, for anyone who likes those types of games, going to be a nice, refreshing change from those and will be something that you probably sink your teeth into and try and get quite good at. Um, the cons are that it is, I mean, it, it, it is just a puzzle game. I mean, the cons are the same as the pros. It's a very simple puzzle game, and if you're not into that, you're not going to find too much gameplay here that you're going to want to come back to. So, you know, ultimately, is this a game you should play before you die? I would throw this into the maybe category, because I don't, I don't see anything here that, like, really makes it stand out insanely from the other Tetris clones. You got Jade, son! But I also don't see anything like negative here. Like this is just an interesting puzzle game and it's got two players you can play competitively and have fun. And if, you know, it'd be a nice game to like zone out to if you just wanted to like play a game and not think too much one afternoon. So yeah, like this is not by no means a bad game. It just doesn't strike me as a game you must play before you die. That's why I'm throwing it into the maybe category. Um, and that's my opinion of it. But uh, ultimately I did have a little bit of fun with this and I did a lot better than I thought I would. So there you go. Guys, if you've enjoyed listening to my inane ramblings, as they usually are, uh, go ahead, give me a like, give me a subscribe. I'll be back in a couple days with a new video and a new game. And uh, yeah, you don't want to miss out on that. So until next time, my friends, be sure to take care of yourselves and uh, do your best with those falling blocks. Remember to set up your combos by playing a little randomly at the beginning. It will look like you're playing bad, but you and I will both know that you've got a higher strategy going on. And until next time, guys, take care of yourselves. Peace. Okay, here's the one clue that we have to the backstory. Chain reactions pump up the juice. What does that mean? What juice? Are they fighting over juice? Why are they going into a bag? Why are all the gems in a bag?